Well, the battle over a new fire hall in View Royal is heating up. Firefighters say the old building is simply unfit to work and to train out of, but some taxpayers are concerned about how much it's going to cost to replace. So in just over two weeks, they're going to vote on it. A referendum is set for November 24th with the future of disaster management for the township hanging in the balance. CTV Sarah Glazier reports. The View Royal Fire Hall, built in 1957, has seen better days. You can see just by the cramped nature of the building, we've outgrown this space. There are cracks in the walls, the roof leaks, and if there's an earthquake, engineers have confirmed it will collapse. The town's fire chief was reminded of that just last night when a large quake hit off the North Island. A 6.3 just south of Port Hardy last night. It's not a matter of if for the island, it's a matter of when. And we have to ensure that, one, our staff and our volunteers are protected, and two, that this community is protected. But first, the community must vote in a referendum on November 24th to borrow up to $5.49 million. And Mayor Graham Hill wants to make good on his re-election promise I'm to build sure, a new fire hall that has been that stalled since 1993. They are putting their lives on the line for us. We need to put us and our pocketbooks on the line for them and for our community, and that's necessary. But not everyone is in favour. More than 1,300 people signed a petition to halt the expenditure. Um, Neighbour Sherry Baird was one of them. She feels the cost to taxpayers over the next 20 years is too much. I feel that if they do get a yes vote, it is just a ticket to spend, and we cannot spend any more money. For the roughly 3,500 taxpayers in View Royal, here's how the cost of the fire hall breaks down. If your home is worth $500,000, you're paying an extra 76 a year on your property tax. And the more your house is worth, the more you'll pay. What we have on hand tells us that we are in the right ballpark. Chief Hurst says the View Royal Fire Department already saves millions each year by relying heavily on volunteer firefighters. And he wants to dispel rumours the new facility would be a regional training centre. Instead, he insists the new plans show the space needed for View Royal members only. This property line shows why it would be tough to expand the old building on 0.4 of an acre. It's just over 11,000 square feet. The new lot is 2.39 acres and the building would be just over 16,000 square feet. Enough room for 36 volunteer, five full-time and two part-time firefighters to train properly. So I need a place where I can stretch hose, I can spray water, that the guys can practice the skills that they use almost every day to protect the community. If the vote is yes, the building could serve the community for 50 to 75 years. We built it today, it's going to last. We're not coming back to the community for 20 to 25 years. We're going to build a station that lasts us today and into tomorrow. But if the vote is no, it will be back to square one with the same fire hall that is not up to safety standards for firefighters or the community. Aaron Glazer, CTV News, View Royal.